What's going on, gang? Good afternoon. Hi there. Greetings and salutations and fist bumps and all that. My name's Alan Cox. Thanks for being here. Bill Squire will join us momentarily. Mary Santora is in Midtown Manhattan. What up? I have to imagine you are probably just drained today from Cute. the excitement at Yankee Stadium last night. Another huge Guardians win. I didn't uh -huh. see the game. I assume that's what happened? Yeah, big time. Oh, good. And you were there for the whole thing. Yeah, I am dragging ass today, <laughs> dude. I am so tired. It was such a cool okay. experience. So lay it out for us. Well, you texted the group chat that you ended up spending. How much did you end up getting your tickets for? $145. That's pretty sweet. And they were, okay. Well, this is why I actually wanted to talk to Bill about it. Should we wait? Until he's back? He's not going to be back for 30. He's got some Zoom thing he's doing, so okay. he said he's not going to be. So I'm on record as being a seat snob where I don't really like sitting far up. I'd rather watch it indoors somewhere warm than be, like, way in the back. So we got, it was the last row. Okay, so everybody's been to Guardians, uh, Progressive Field. Yankee Stadium is another tier higher than that. Okay, so they have a whole other section there. above where, like, the top of Guardians would be, the top yeah. of Progressive Field. And it's a bigger stadium. But we got the first row of that section. So there's nobody in front of us. We're kind of on an overhang, and we are directly behind home plate. Oh, cool. So that was really cool that I was like, if the if we were two sections either way, I don't think I would have liked it as much. But so, but you did just to recap from yesterday. You did the thing where you waited. You got him on that app that sells him cheap once the game starts. Yes. Okay. So we were looking at tickets. They were all in like the two hundreds, and then after the first pitch. Within that first inning, the tickets plummeted, right. like went crazy down. They got to unload them. Yeah, there was a seat uh, that I had my eye on. It was twelve hundred bucks, oh. directly behind home plate, <sighs> directly behind home plate, second row. Yeah, and I was like, "Let's do something stupid." And my buddy's like, "Absolutely not." And then after the game started, it went down to like eight fifty. I was gonna say and that would have been, and then it went down to seven hundred. You would have slit and your then, own throat if you dude, had spent twelve hundred dollars. And... But then it it went down to five fifty. Yeah, directly behind home plate. I was like, dude, we would be on camera the whole night. Like, let's do this. And he's like, Mary, I don't have a team in this game. Do you have under, Do you understand how hard right. it is for me to spend six hundred dollars on a game that I don't care who right. wins? You know, um, be, so like for us, if it was like the Diamondbacks and the Angels, exactly. Exactly. Who like, cares? <laughs> exactly. So um, we ended up going with the directly behind home plate a little higher up. But it was, a, it was a great view. You know, you could see balls and strikes. Like, you could call it. It was awesome. And um, the stadium is huge. It is insanely loud. Yep. Like, one of the loudest sporting events I've ever been to. And I've been in the dog pound at Browns games. You know, like, it was This is so... in the Bronx. For people who have never yeah. been to Yankee Stadium, you gotta... You, you gotta... It's way up there. Get your ass to the Bronx, yeah. It was a 30-minute train ride north, and I'm right by the the studios here in New York are right by Central Park. Yeah. So I'm pretty far up there, and then it was 30 minutes directly straight up. Um, it's up by the George Washington Bridge, right? Like, you get off the bridge there, and Yankee Stadium's pretty much... I don't know about all that, because okay. we took the subway, so oh, we I were see. underground the yeah. whole time. Um, but it was huge. It was... So much fun, dude. Their production value is crazy. And again, they're the richest team in baseball. Right. So they have the money to have the production. It was like you were seeing a concert with the way, like the effects they were doing, brand new scoreboards. At points, they would like black out the whole stadium and play these like hype, let's get rowdy videos. It was like, it was intense, but it was so cool. I mean, going for a playoff game helps, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And it was a night game, so you get yep. that environment under the lights, which I think it's more dramatic, you know? Right. Um, but it was really, really fun. And I will say this. When we were sitting there, I was like, I'm just looking around. I'm taking it all in. And, you know, the Yankees were winning pretty much, I think, the whole game. So I'm looking around, and I'm like, dude, it is so easy to be a Yankees fan. Like, I'm looking around. I'm like, you have a good team with lots of money. They have awesome-looking merch. Like, Yankees merch looks slick. And I'm like, what? You guys have never struggled for anything. <laughs> like, well, I mean, they, they had some lean years. But again, even, okay. if they, even if your team stinks, you leave and you're in New York. So, you know, you're like, yeah, hey, let's right. go do something else or whatever. Right. So, um, hold on, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, it went away. <laughs> it went away. 
she looked right into the sun, even though there's no window in there, and and it went away. No, but it was. um, I'm very glad that I went. It was no, that's cool. I think that's awesome experience. And that stadium is. I was. I mean, for a baseball, it's just it's enormous. Did you stay till the end? Yes, and yeah, they all okay. sing New York, New York together. Uh, Did you know this course. was a thing? Yes. I didn't know that was a thing. It's like take me out to the ball game at any other park, but they're going to do New York, New York. Well, they did take me out to the ball game during the seventh inning stretch, right. which is across the board. I think everybody does that. Yeah. But then after the game was over, it, you just hear that bump, ba-da, <laughs> bump, and everybody's dancing. And then it was like, it was a very cool moment because all together, However many thousand fans were like, stars read in the news. And I'm like, this is cool. Like, I Even if you're a Guardians fan, you're going to sing New York, New York. You have to. I was like, I didn't want to, but I felt myself like chiming in. Um, oh, you do live there now. It was, it was such a cool experience. Um, Doesn't Yankee Stadium have a hard rock in it? I don't know about that. Yankee Stadium. Maybe it's out. I, I thought they had it in the stadium, but maybe it's out. I don't know about it's like all a that. hard rock <laughs> right over there. There, you know, in case the team stinks. But yeah, that's up there. But I will say this: uh, Yankees fans are spoiled. They're so spoiled because, like, um, I think his name is Aaron Judge. Aaron Some, Judge, yes. Aaron Judge, very good player. He hit. He cracked a home well, run. And the Guardians have been looking like the friggin' bad news bears out there too. So that doesn't right. help. So. Aaron Judge cracks his home run because we were in the game. The Guardians were in the game until that. That's when they went up 6-2. to two. But that was pretty early, too, I think. No, was that was it? like the seventh inning. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. So he cracks that in like the seventh inning, and that's when people started leaving is yeah. when they were up 6-2. to two. And I was getting kind of annoyed. I've never left a sporting event early. I'm one of those people who I'm like, unless it is in – I am I really cannot recall a time that I've been like, screw this, let's get out of here. Even if it's a blowout? I'm trying to think – Maybe. Because a lot of people in that situation are just trying to beat the traffic. I mean, there are a lot of people who are taking the subway. But, you know, it's like I'm usually somebody who stays to the end of a game. But if it's a blowout, I'm you like, let's just know. get the hell. Yeah, you don't know. You know, but if it's 9 to 3 and it's the bottom of the eighth, I'm like, yeah. all right, yeah, it's time yeah. to go. So people started leaving. Yankees fans started leaving around. Um, I think that was the bottom of the sixth or the seventh when he hit that. And then they started leaving after that. Um, so it was emptying out toward the end of the game but were there a lot really of cool. people who were openly decked out in guardians no. gear uh, it was well, a sea of yankees fans probably it's such a big state like yeah. i can't get over i don't know what the capacity is i don't know if we could pull it but up but you didn't see other people in guardians gear i probably saw 10 people okay so this says 52,325 is there the capacity go. of yankee stadium what is progressives is like twenty five or yeah. thirty, right? Yeah. Um, that's why I was saying I was like, it felt thirty four thousand, so twenty thousand extra people. I was sitting in there. I'm like, dude, this place is friggin' huge. But yeah, it was it was maybe maybe five percent Guardians fans. It you didn't see a lot. We actually saw one group of guys get kicked out. A group of Guardians fans, a section. Guardians fans got kicked out. A section behind us. We didn't oh, know what was going on. Getting belligerent. But we start hearing yelling, chirping back and forth, and we look behind us, and there's three Guardians fans, all young men, three <laughs> Guardians fans standing up <laughs> screaming sure. across the aisle They're at drunk. these three Yankees fans. Yeah. So these guys are going at it, and then the whole section starts to get into it. They're the only Loud Guardians fans. In, noises! Yeah, they're the only Guardians fans in the section. So then the whole section is teaming up on them. So now this whole section is like booing and, and yeah. chanting. And the three Guardians fans are standing their ground. Like they look ready to fight 70 people. Right. And then, but hey, then. Because to Yankees fans, Cleveland might as well be Omaha, Nebraska. Oh, right. Yeah. So then it starts spreading section to section. And before you know it, there's like seven or eight sections all yelling at these three guys. Like the wave, but with screaming and punching. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> nobody, nobody threw any punches. Yeah. But it got to the point where I think security, I don't know how it started, but I think security was just like, it's going to be easier for us just to take these three guys out than to calm down right. these 500 people. <laughs> So they ended up throwing those three guys out. It'll Again. finally end of its own volition. Everybody yeah. will get tired of it. And, and as the three guys are getting thrown out, they're still screaming. The one guy's yelling at the security guard. He's got his hands behind his back. And the, I didn't do this, anything. I know, yeah. All the sections start the na 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 Yeah, hey, na, hey, hey. Yeah, goodbye. And they're, like, flipping people off. But 
But it was that a good was time. Really, it was money well spent. 145 oh, bucks, absolutely. pretty good. And that's what we, my buddy Nate Craig, who's a comedian, we were talking about it. And we were like, in New York, it is very difficult to go a full day. Like if you're visiting and you're not cooking at home and stuff, it's hard to go a whole day without spending $100. Of course. So like to spend a hundred, we we're probably all in for food and drinks, 250 Because you're like, not drinking beers. No. Do they have near beers or what are you doing? No, just eating I a just, dog and a Coke? I had a Mountain Dew. I had an $8 hey, Mountain Dew and $8. an $11 sausage. You know Beautiful. Right? So, yeah, we're between all that. And then I took an Uber home because I was like, it's late. I don't want to mess around on the subway. Yes. I'm decked out in Guardians gear. Everyone's drunk. Yep. So I took a $50 Uber home. I was like, it feels safer. That's for worth me it, to too. Do this. And it was like almost midnight that I was like finally getting out of the stadium. <laughs> um, so I just took an Uber. But yeah. You don't want to get on the in, train in the Bronx and you have to go all the way to. By myself. Yeah. You know, yeah. So. Um, all in for 250 bucks to to witness. Again, we lost, but the environment, a legendary stadium. It was it was a very That's awesome. very cool experience. It was a playoff game, man. Yeah. Guardians yes. aren't there playing October ball every year. No, and that was the other. And thing. And they're I'm almost like, not going to be playing for much longer. So at I least you like, got to see them. What was the last time I would have had this opportunity? 2016. You know what I mean? Every eight years, I might get a chance to do this. So sure, was, it was a uh, it was very very money very well spent. Well, the Guardians come back home tomorrow night. They play three games at Progressive Field. And to say that they've got to start winning some games is obviously an understatement. So we will be doing a short show tomorrow. We will be live until 4.30. And then Yankees-Guardians, game three, tomorrow afternoon on MMS. Play-by-play coverage with Mary Santora. Yo, at- <laughs> hi outside. Hey, everybody. He's got two balls on him. Two balls and one strike. We'll see what he's going with. A changeup. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, it's really good. Now a word from Mountain Dew. <laughs> All right, let me take a break. Uh, I got more money for you. It's $1,000 courtesy of the Buzzard Bookie. You got four of these keywords coming from me this afternoon, about 30 past the hour. So 2.30 is that next one. We'll talk to actor uh, Danny Trejo later on. He's got a new movie coming out this weekend. Uh, we got Mayor's Science Fair later on. A lot of things I want to squeeze in today. So if you want to text for anything, 35192 to do that, and we'll be back. The Alan Cox Show. On our free iHeartRadio app and your favorite